Now to a new development in the case of the Missouri teenager who took her own life after she was harassed on the Internet. Her family wanted the mother allegedly behind the hoax to be prosecuted, but authorities hit a roadblock. But now there has been a surprising development. Here's NBC's Michael Oku. The story of Megan Meyer created a nationwide furor. Just shy of her 14th birthday, she became a member of MySpace.com. Megan had a history of attention deficit disorder and depression, but she was elated when she met 16-year-old Josh Evans online, a handsome stranger who showered her with compliments. Telling her how beautiful her eyes were. But then, just as quickly, Josh ended the friendship, began posting insults about her online, and even told Megan the world would be a better place without her. The next day, Megan Meyer hanged herself in her bedroom closet. And then it turned out, all along, Josh Evans had been a hoax, fabricated, according to police reports, by Lori Drew, a grown woman who lived down the street. They wanted to find out online if Megan was talking about their daughter. The Myers waited for criminal charges to be filed against Drew, but local and federal prosecutors in Missouri could not find a statute that applied to the case. But now another possible twist. Sources tell the Los Angeles Times federal prosecutors here are considering charging Drew with defrauding MySpace, based here in California. The U.S. Attorney's Office declined NBC's request for comment. Since a homicide case really can't be brought, I doubt they'll get the type of sentence that will make people feel that there was justice. Levinson, a former federal prosecutor, also says the charge, if it's made, could raise questions about how to police the Internet fairly. One of the big problems for the prosecution here is that, boy, this is a very wide net. How many people actually do this on MySpace, set up accounts under someone else's name or pseudo-identities? I doubt she's the only person. All along, Drew, through her attorney, has denied wrongdoing. A federal wire fraud conviction carries a maximum 20-year prison sentence. For today, Michael Oku, NBC News, Los Angeles. Tina Meyer is Megan's mother. Tina, good morning to you. Good morning. Where were you yesterday when you heard the news about pro prosecuting Lori Drew for defrauding MySpace? This idea of prosecuting her. Right. We were in the process of packing Megan's room. So it was kind you of... You haven't touched the room since you lost her in 2006? No. Her room has stayed exactly the same. And we just finally started the process of packing up a room, which is just another part to me, which is kind of another chapter in ending, not ending her, but just another part, which is extremely hard. It was very, very difficult. So what was your reaction to this news that they would prosecute Drew for defrauding MySpace? In other words, MySpace would really be the victim in this, right. not your daughter. Does that bother you? You know, Megan will always be the victim. So it, that does not change anything for me. If MySpace is considered the victim and any criminal charges can be brought against this family, the Drews, then so be it. And I will be thrilled because I still truly believe in my heart they absolutely should be criminally prosecuted. So if that's the way it needs to be in the end, then I say go for it. In the meantime, you've been working in your state to come up with laws, to push for laws that would outlaw Internet bullying. Have you gotten anywhere with that at all? Well, they absolutely are working. Um, you know, Governor Blunt has a task force. I did go to the initial meeting, and I spoke at that task force. They had another meeting yesterday, and they are working towards getting laws changed. So that's a wonderful step forward. Um, I certainly am not going to stop. I want to make sure that it continues and moves forward. And it needs to be on a state level, not just individual municipal you know, misdemeanor laws. It needs to be on a state level so that it can be a bigger impact, not just a little slap on the hand. You know, in terms of prosecuting Drew, the U.S. Attorney's Office has not commented officially on this or said that, yes, this is definitely happening. But but if it, if it did happen to her, then some have said you'd have to prosecute a lot of people because a lot of people create these phony sites for very innocent reasons. So is it really right. fair? Well, you know what? Innocent reasons, I don't see any innocent reasons, and I think that what it would do is people would shut them down pretty quickly. And I think it would be a good statement for people to say, you know what, this is not okay. Making any type of a false MySpace account or Facebook account or any account 
is not okay. You're, you're still defrauding somebody, whether you're finding out if it's a cheating boyfriend, girlfriend, whether you're doing it as a joke to play with somebody. Any of those things, to falsify it, you're doing it under, you're doing it in a way that's not truthful, and it doesn't need to be done. You so know, I think it needs to be, I think something needs to be done, absolutely. The pain and the anger is still very much on the surface for you. Oh, absolutely. Do you still see Lori Drew in the community? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I drove through the subdivision yesterday. She was waiting to pick her son up at the middle school. Do you ever have any conversations at all? No, none. None. None whatsoever. All right, Tina Mara, thank you so much. Well, thank nice you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you.